we're here to talk about FARM, which is Financial Analysis and Risk Management. So could you describe what financial analysis and risk management is all about? Sure. It, it combines mathematics with finance and business. So in fact, that's something I usually tell students just to make sure you're aware of is that uh, you're getting a degree that combines math. So you're getting a math degree. So hopefully you like math, but you're also combining it with finance, business, uh, investment, and you need to like that as well. So it's it is a good degree. Certainly the investment industry, the financial industry is moving more and more towards mathematical tools. Um, so it's a it's a good combination, but it is those two elements. And, you know, if you're a math student or if you enjoy math, but you're not sure about finance and you find out you don't like finance or investment, this is not going to work for you. Um, so you do really need to like both elements to uh, make a success of it, really. Perfect. And I think this uh, touches upon my next question, uh, which is what do you wish students knew before they ended up choosing uh, financial analysis and risk management as their major? Yeah, that's uh, that's something that's, you know, I, I thought I think I handled well when I was at University of Waterloo. So before I signed up, so I got my math and uh, uh, CA, which is now CPA. Um, I talked to C CAs. So I went around to CA firms and uh, I think I talked to two or three and said, you know, what do you do? What do you like about your job? Uh, what don't you like? Those kind of things. And I don't know that students do enough of that today. Um, so like in this case, you're signing up for, you know, finance, for investment, for corporate finance. And, you know, at the very least, it'd be helpful to talk to a banker, um, talk to somebody who works in an insurance company or somebody who works with investments. like you know, use your parents, um, see if they have any contacts that they can refer you to, just so you know a little bit about what you're getting yourself into. I mean, nobody really knows until they're into it and, you know, they've had a couple of co-op jobs and things like that. But, um, you know, do as much research ahead of time as you can, you know, open up the financial pages, you know, if, uh, whatever newspaper uh, you normally see and read the business section. Does it sound like stuff that's interesting to you or not? Um, if you're in high school, you know, take a business course. You know, a lot of the high schools are offering business now and, uh, you know, take a business course, see if it's something that appeals to you. you know? I mean, I think that's really it. Like I said, you, you need to enjoy math because you're getting an honors math degree. You're going to take a lot of math courses. So you need to enjoy math, but you also need to enjoy business and finance and be really interested in it um, because that's the career basically. Yeah, and uh, this is actually a perfect opportunity then uh, for you to share what you loved about this field and what sort of got you into it. So what do you love about the field? What are some of the exciting parts of it? Yeah, there, there's a few things actually. Um, the one that uh, it, it'll, it'll happen, whether um, it, it appeals to everybody or not, but as you get into finance, you're constantly chasing a deal. So it's whether it could be a trade whether it's a multi-million dollar acquisition, whether it's a hundred million dollar loan, um, it's a very competitive industry. And when you win the deal, you can't beat the thrill of it. Like uh, there's no question. I mean, maybe that sounds horrible to say, but um, it is, if you're competitive and you like, you know, chasing things and winning and um, there's nothing that beats it. Uh, on the other side, on the analysis side, on the risk management side, it really is problem solving. It's trying to figure something out like, you know, why is this company earning more money this year than they did last year? You know, are we going to, should we invest, you know, $2 million in this company? Where are they going to be five years from now? Um, and so there's a, a lot of problem solving, a lot of investigative work, a lot of, you know, satisfying your own curiosity that really does appeal to, you know, go-getters and, you know, people that are motivated to you know, work hard and to succeed, really. And so I would say those are the, the big things that I enjoyed, certainly was, uh, you know, analyzing situations. You can analyze transactions, you can analyze companies, um, and then also just chasing transactions. So, you know, it, those are the two big items that were exciting and, and were fun. I mean, it, it certainly, like I spent 20 years doing it. 
uh, the only reason I stopped is, uh, you know, you get to a certain point where it does become 24 seven. And, uh, you know, when you have a young family, that's not gonna work, or at least it didn't work for me. And, uh, but it is, it's a very exciting field to be in. Awesome. And uh, I kind of wish someone had told me that before, because that kind of sounds like it's almost perfectly up my alley. A little bit too late for me now, but uh, perhaps uh, now you can elaborate a little bit more on the specific career opportunities that this major provides. Like, so what are some of those financial jobs that people can get? Sure. It, um, there's two streams. So we've, uh, it's one program, but in your third year, you're going to pick either the PRM or the CFA path. So PRM, Professional Risk Manager, CFA is a chartered financial analyst. Um, both of them have professional associations. And in fact, that's something that would probably be a good idea to have a look at before you join farm is take a look at the PRM website, take a look at the CFA website and poke around there a little. Again, it'll give you more information on uh, what you're getting into. But on the risk management side, uh, as you know, computers and technology have changed our lives. We've become much better able to understand risks and to break them down. Uh, you know, say 20 years ago, uh, when a company issued a prospectus, there'd be a section on risk in the prospectus, but it wasn't that long and it was very simplistic. Today, if you look at an annual report, of a big organization, they might have 15, 20 pages on the risks that the company is exposed to. And so they do hire risk managers who make extensive use of uh, mathematical tools uh, to analyze and to quantify the risk that is involved in the business. So you're going to be a risk manager. You're probably going to work for a bank. You're going to work for an insurance company. Maybe you're going to work for a consulting firm. Um, you're probably going to be in the financial services industry, okay? And that's the PRM side. The CFA side's a little bit broader. It's um, CFA is geared towards corporate finance and investment. And so you could be an analyst, you could be a banker, could be an investment banker. Um, again, it's most likely you're going to be um, in financial services, uh, but it, it, it could be broader. Like there's, um, in terms of who hires University of Waterloo co-op students, uh, credit rating agencies hire us, uh, the banks hire us, and they hire us in a bunch of different ways. On the trading floor, they'll hire us in their uh, IT units. Uh, they'll hire us in their banking units. Uh, some of the big investment banks hire Waterloo students, uh, particularly in their later co-op terms. Um, so it's, you know, both are probably going to be in financial services, most likely. The CFA is probably a little bit broader because you've got both the analyst side and you've got the investment and finance side. So you might be working for a portfolio manager. You might be managing your own portfolio. Um, you might be a, a commercial banker, a corporate banker, investment banker, analyst, those kinds of things. Whereas the PRM, you're going to be focused on analyzing risks and, uh, again, probably a big company and financial services. Awesome. And uh, you touched upon uh, risk and analysis and a lot of different businesses and banks. So it sounds like there's a lot of overlap with math business and actuarial science. But in what ways is farm different from those different disciplines? Um, it's math business is more general. So if you're interested in business, interested in math, not sure you want to be in the investment industry, not sure you want to be in financial services. Uh, math business is probably a, a, a better choice because uh, those students go on in a wide variety of, of roles in business. I mean, literally anything from marketing to HR to, you know, and they might end up at a bank too. Okay, so they, um, they might end up uh, uh, getting a job that a farm student could get. So math biz would be a little bit more general. Axi, you're going to be an actuary. So you're going to be working for a life insurance company, a pension fund, a consulting firm, and you're going to be working with stats big time. And, the, you know, it, if you're going to sign up for Axi, make sure you do a lot of work on and for definitely talk to an actuary because that's a very specific job and you want to make sure that you like the work that they're doing and you're, you're interested in that. So, so they are very much, uh, you know, there's a lot of common courses, 
but I would say there's there's differences between them all. Awesome. And uh, that actually wraps up all the questions that I had for you. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to answer all of these. Uh, and if there are further questions that maybe students want uh, to ask or maybe some clarification they want on some different points, is there any place they could go on like you Waterloo websites or something like that where they can find out more? Yeah, the email is always the best choice. Like if they want to either speak to me or exchange information. So pblake at uwaterloo.ca, that's, um, that's usually the best way. And if they want to talk, we can set up a meeting on Teams or something like that. Um, there is a lot of information uh, in the calendar. Uh, you should take a look at the academic plans and you know what the requirements are just to get a feel for the types of courses you're going to be taking. Uh, there's also a math and business section where we go through each one of our programs and you could literally toggle between the various programs look at there is a section there on you know what kind of careers you might get uh, it does go through again the typical courses that you're going to be taking and things like that so i'd encourage students to go through you know the calendar the math business web pages and then you know feel free to send me an email if they want to you know just converse via email or if they want to set up an in-person chat that's fine too thanks so much for doing this chat and uh for all of you future farmers out there, uh, take care. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot.